I believe that everyone's an artist, and I love how we all have our own unique way of expressing it. Whether your art is more rational or more imaginative, maybe you're an earth worker. Maybe your art is in the way you care for people or the way you live life. Regardless, we're all artists of our own lives. There are billions of ways to express it as there are people on the planet. Yesterday was Sunday. I was so bored and something so unexpected and so unplanned happened. I brought out all my painting stuff, then brushed and cleaned off the dust I scraped off the paints from last time, and I gessoed the canvas, which is my first step. I also found something I want to paint, which is great. I'm so excited. Afterwards, I was craving fresh air because of all the mineral spirits I used to clean paint, so I went out on a solo sunset run, which felt so good. I'm always so grateful for my angels that are guiding me. Yesterday, I started cleaning the kitchen after our morning walk. I think my artist loves to work when the space is clean. And then I started drawing and was wonderfully lost in doing that for a while. I love what I'm seeing on the canvas right now, and I'm only just beginning. Hopefully, I get more done today. I'm so happy that I have energy to go towards this painting right now, and it's really exciting to me. I feel like I should put more focus on that since that's where there's a huge flow. Anyways, I think that's the answer. I also enjoyed all the time I spent outside under the jacaranda tree yesterday, just being. I was out there for a long while and I didn't even get bit. It reminds me of the Philippines and how my family would just sit and nap under the mango tree. I started watching Nevertheless again, and all these feelings of being in an art studio came back. 
It's part of the reason why I share on YouTube. I have this vision of a collective of creatives working together on our own personal projects like we're in a virtual studio because how much fun and motivating is it to create art and encourage others? That's the energy I want to be around. It's still really overcast outside and there was thunder last night. I used Pop-Up's paintbrushes for the first time today. These are really special and I want to take care of these brushes well. I love this time of year so much. The chilly fresh air in the morning is so wonderful. I can already feel the snow falling in Mount Lemmon. I had the dreamiest day. I looked at the weather two days ago and it said it was going to be sunny for the next seven days. But yesterday, in the middle of me painting mid-morning, it rained so beautifully. I got to paint with the windows open while listening to the rain.
And then it started hailing so hard in the middle of the day. Yesterday, I feel like I finally understood what doing nothing all day means. Strangely, doing nothing is still doing something. But I just felt relaxed while I was doing it. It was a really beautiful day to experience. I went pretty far in my painting too. I still have details to work on, but that's easy. Then I got to meditate outside while it was raining. There are days when I'm feeling stuck and unmotivated. When the voice of self-doubt is really loud, mixed with confusion and uncertainty. On this particular day, I went on YouTube to try to find some encouragement and inspiration. When I realized that there is no masterclass, no TED Talks that can substitute for my will to keep going, to keep working even if I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Nothing that can substitute me actually doing the work it takes to get to where I need to go. However, if you're looking for inspiration and encouragement too, here are some words to pull you forward. This is an excerpt from Letters to a Young Poet that I think all creatives can relate to by Rainier Maria Rilke. No one could help you or give you advice. No one. The only thing to do is go into yourself. Look for the reason that is making you right. See whether it has put down roots in the deepest place in your heart. Admit in all honesty, whether or not you would die if you weren't allowed to write. This above all, ask yourself, in your night's quietest moment, do I have to write? Dig deep down into yourself for the answer. And if it is yes, if you can meet this solemn question with a strong and simple, I must, then build your life around that necessity, your whole life, down to its most trivial and different moments, must be a sign of this need, a testament to it. Then approach nature. Try as if no one has tried before to say what you see and feel and love and lose. Avoid the general themes and write about what your everyday life has to offer. Describe your sorrows and your longings, your passing thoughts, your belief in this or that beauty, and describe it with heartfelt, silent, humble sincerity and candor. In expressing yourself, use the things around you, images from your dreams, objects of your memory, if your day-to-day -day life seems too poor and empty, don't blame it. Blame yourself and tell yourself you're not poet enough to call forth that life's riches. Because for one who creates, there is no poverty, no place that is poor and indifferent. Then if this inward turn this sinking into your own world results in poems. It won't even occur to you to ask anyone if they're good. 
You won't try to place them in magazines either, for you will see them as a beloved natural possession, a piece of, a voice of your life. A work of art is good when it is necessary, when it comes from a need. This is the only way to judge it by its origins. And so the only advice I have to give you is to go into yourself and test the depths where your life has its source. This wellspring is where you will find the answer to the question of whether or not you must create. Take the answer as it comes without trying to interpret it. Maybe it will turn out that your vocation is to be an artist. If that is so, take up that destiny and bear it, its burden, its greatness, without ever asking what reward from the outside it might bring you. For he who creates must be a world unto himself must find everything inside himself and in the nature to which he devotes himself. Or maybe, after this descent into yourself and what is singular within you, you will have to give up on becoming a poet. As I said, if you feel you can live without writing, that alone is enough to mean you mustn't write. But even in that case, this turning inward I am asking you to undertake will not have been in vain. Your life will still find its paths from that point on and will follow those paths and may they be good and broad and rich. I wish that for you more than I can say. I hope this video is healing and accompanies you on your creative journey. Thank you for creating. Thank you for moving forward. Remember that success is already here, right in front of you, waiting for you to recognize it. <laughs>